Hello and welcome to part 2 of my Kosovo Let's Play. And the Albanians are still pushing us quite hard and we have little support from the Macedonians. We'll send our militia back. Hopefully our artillery will be able to repel these guys and then we'll send the militia back to take this village and then we'll also move the artillery up to support. Uh, our reserve personnel is slowly increasing. We've um, increased our military pay up to full whack so hopefully that will encourage volunteers to sign up to the army. We're also nearly finished producing this APC which is a pretty decent offensive unit. It was actually better than the Albanian, Albanian units mostly because they've got mostly outdated Chinese and like Chinese tanks and outdated T-54s and stuff like that. Hopefully they don't take this, this uh, land application, otherwise that would be terrible. We should be able to push these guys out, come on. Yes, and the Macedonians are helping, good job there here. You guys move up. We've lost our militia. Damn, we'll have to send these guys back until until we can produce a new unit that can can take their their village. And the Macedonians are coming. Yes, and the Macedonians have actually been useful. There we go. This should be the turning point. Now we can uh, push our artillery way up so they can assist the Macedonians in the main battle. Still annoyed that the Bulgarians aren't being very useful. And even the Slovakians, they look like they might want to help, uh, haven't actually done anything for us. I mean they've offered us some consumer goods and some financial aid but apart from that they haven't been very useful. But it shouldn't be long now before the Macedonians have conquered most of Albania for us. So our population is now increased by half a million. Oh, send these guys back, they're a bit exposed by that tank. We took their capital. Nice, they didn't have any garrison units in the capital so they got caught off guard. And it should be over very soon. They'll probably fight to the last, they'll probably fight to the very last um, city. Do we have? Yes, we have an APC unit now. This is a pretty decent unit. It'll make me happy if we can take the capsule. Yeah, there yeah, we go. This should finish them off now, if we take that. Ooh, well they've got some units there. Mostly half destroyed tanks. Hey, and they've surrendered. And we've actually inherited some of their units, even though they are outdated. And But this is a fairly good tank destroyer. So everybody go repair. And we've got a decent amount of money, so... We can probably produce a little bit more agriculture. A few more farms. And look, the Slovakians have finally decided to show up. Um, or Slovenians, sorry finally decided to show up. Um, I think they were just scared to land in one of these ports. Actually that reminds me, we should delete this sea pier before an angry western nation decides to try and invade us and we'll garrison up this. I could delete both my sea piers to uh, deter invasions from hostile nations but um, I want to keep at least one as it will be useful to uh, for our allies to move in troops. But look, and even the Bulgarians are coming. Thank God for that. So the, now we have the support from the Slovakians, the Bulgarians. They're all coming on side. We've also inherited a few old navy boats from the Albanians. Just some little patrol boats. Nothing serious. But it's good to have a like a little basic navy presence. And I'm going to bring them close to our port. Because if our enemies 
decide to send um, a naval invasion against us. For example, the Germans may invade if we if we continue to act uh, belligerently to our neighbours. If they don't send um, destroyers to ex escort, um, escort their transport units, their naval invasion units, then we may be able to destroy some of their uh, some of their units while they're being transported. So our next step is I'm gonna what's our yeah we need we need more manpower definitely we should increase that from from the um, the reserves of Albania a couple we'll get a couple of volunteers from Albania which will be very useful because we need to fortify this border with Serbia I think I'll start to build some fortifications gun emplacements aren't particularly good the defensive capability, uh, tell you what, we'll build some trenches, trenches are nice and cheap it's not that bad if we lose them we'll put them here um, here, here and here and let's just hope the Macedonians can hold their end of the bargain, they can hold this border for us but if they, if somehow they manage to lose that, then uh, the Serbians may be able to push in this way, which would not be good for us. But anyway, we can start moving our artillery up here, and I'm going to start producing some artillery again because manpower-wise, it's the most efficient way for us to defend ourselves against the Serbians. We just don't have the men for it. And in fact, I'm going to remove some garrison from these provinces, and we'll use them to defend our capital, and also defend some of our border towns with uh, Serbia. So put full full garrisons on the border, and once our trenches are built, we will place a couple garrisons in them if we can. Put four in there for now. And that will probably use most of our manpower, if not all of it. Oh no, it's increasing. I have to keep an eye on it. It may slowly increase because we've annexed Albania now. So who do we have? The Bulgarians are going home, which I don't like. But they are they've still got presence in our nation. It doesn't really matter because they can invade from the uh, they can invade from the west anyway. So you guys have to start filling these trenches. So ah, we can put three garrisons in each trench, which is very good. The the trenches are much harder to defend than cities or towns. Because obviously in towns you can do hand-to-hand -hand fighting and it's very easily defendable. If you think like something like Stalingrad is a very, it's a very uh, easily defended place. Sort of room-to-room -room fighting, so it takes the enemy a long time to get in there, especially if you place artillery. So we'll put the artillery in the towns. Perhaps two artillery per town, and then towns like this and. Perhaps this town will get a, a, a huge amount. They'll take the brunt force of it. Brunt force of uh, the Serbian aggression. But anyway, we'll, I'll come back once we've produced a few more artillery units and we've also fortified these trenches. Okay, we'll continue to fortify our trenches, but we just don't have the manpower. See, we only have 70 men in reserve. And we just don't have enough men to fill these trenches. Our towns are full to capacity, but we, we're definitely going to need these trenches full of men if we're going to hold off the Serbians. In an unexpected uh, turn of events, the Polish have actually decided to join us. I don't know if they'll be useful in the fight, but if they decide to um, decide to help us, they'll be very useful. Because they're quite a powerful nation. I really didn't expect the Polish to come down south and help us, but that's incredibly useful. So we're going to have to take a bit more of a long-term strategy now, because the we just don't have enough manpower. And if we look at our nation, uh, our economy is doing okay. 
but we um, we have we're losing people, people are emigrating from a nation, which is no good. If we if we create such a good nation and increase our economic power, let people want to come to Kosovo, then we'll be able to increase the amount of manpower we have, the amount of reserves. We need a bit of immigration from our neighbours. So, if we reduce taxes and increase farm production and exports and things like that, that could be very useful. So we've got six billion, which is enough to work with. Now it's time to exploit some of the Albanian farmland, which is pretty uh, plentiful. Actually, I wonder if they have any... I don't think they have any oil. Or if they do, it would probably be a small amount. So we'll find any oil. They do have a little bit of oil. That could be very useful, actually. I think we don't produce any oil at the minute. Yeah, and we use a fair bit. So let's see if this crashes our economy. Mm, we might have to take it slow. We might have to stop building some of this and continue to build later on. Yeah. So I come back once some of this production, uh, this construction is finished. Okay, so these buildings have just finished constructing. You've got the farms and the oil. So we're producing 200,000 barrels of oil a day now, which is really good. And much more uh, agricultural goods. I decided to get rid of these trenches as they um, they took up too much manpower and I think we're better investing the um, the manpower in artillery and and these APC units. So I built a lot more artillery. I built like 10 of these APC units which is quite good. Uh, I got a 17 attack and 17 uh, hard attack. But we're going to have to rely on our allies a lot. I mean I hope the, the Polish will help. The Macedonians should help, and the Bulgarians will most likely help us. And maybe a couple of guys up here, maybe Slovakia. Or Slovenia, I should say. So, let's just pull the trigger. See what we can do. Should let me make sure the garrisons are at full. We'll add a couple here. And we'll start producing at free. We'll open all our facilities for production. Might take a little while to start up. There we go. Okay. Now we can produce three APC units. At least until we run out of manpower. And then we'll gradually just have to close down these land fabrications to use the the manpower that they take up. Okay, so let's declare war. See, and the Macedonians are coming, they're helping. And we're just going to use these, we're going to let them come at us, and the Macedonians take the most of the damage. And we're just going to use these guys here to fill in any major gaps. To make sure we send them off to repair. Because they're taking huge damage. I think I'll pull some of these guys back into the city. So I've got you guys repair, and then I'll probably redeploy them in the cities themselves. But yeah, we should be. Yeah, we're holding them off pretty easily, taking a fair few casualties. But I think we we want to charge down some of these weakened units if we can find any. But yeah, that's part two. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Cheers.